guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. How's it going? If you're thinking about order reading, now would be a great time. Um, especially now that I finished my book, there's a lot of ideas that seem to be coming out that I never even imagined. Uh, seeing pers different perspectives and yeah, I feel really connected and yeah, so it's a good time to order. I also wanted to mention that um, the prices are going to be the same as last year. They haven't increased. Uh, and if you are a patron, you will also be getting a discount as well as returning readers. So please just let me know uh, if you are, and then I'll figure out the prices because I haven't really factored that in right now. Uh, you will be getting a discount though. Um, what else did I want to say? And thank you guys for supporting me with the book. You guys are making this happen. You guys made the cards happen. You guys made the channel happen. And you guys made the book happen. So what I've learned <laughs> over the past two years is just mind-blowing um, and it's because of you guys and so thank you thank you so much I love you guys so much and enjoy this week's twin flame reading right cheers masculine so this is going to be a yang reading for January the 18th and until the 28th I hope you're all doing well so I'm going to use um, a bunch of little decks here and do the Celtic wing so this is the Tarot Illuminati. So I'll use this for what you want and likely to get. And this is what you will get. Okay, next we have the Witch's Tarot. And we'll use this for your past and foundation. The Gilded Tarot. We'll use this for your internal and external. Okay, and Easy Tarot. Use this for what you're resisting. And final outcome. And I also use the Call It Baron Read Enchanted Map for the present position for the feminine, so I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so we need two more positions still. So I have is the search for the unicorn for the foundation, or sorry, the summary outcome, and this is for the near future. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, let's use the Dorian Virtue Romance Angels. Trust. So the feminine is having a hard time trusting the masculine. This situation is calling you to have faith. Okay, so in response to your question, the Romance Angels are asking you to trust that everything is exactly as it needs to be. Do not add fear to the situation, which will only create drama and negativity. Um, instead, the angels ask you to release your worries. Did I say feminine? Sorry, I meant masculine, guys. Jeez. Um, your present situation is here to bring you blessing and personal growth, leading to the beautiful romantic love you so deeply desire and, and deserve. As you follow the pathway you're currently on, trust that it will lead you in the right direction. Your faith uplifts you, your energy, uh, which is which in turn attracts positive experience and people, including a romantic partner. 
this truly is a situation where the with faith all things are possible so this was very similar to the you know the message from the universe as well as a twin flame reading for the masculine was to to trust and just take that loop of faith and move forward and you know you're being divinely guided cool synchronicities okay so what is in your present position heal the out so the, the masculine also got the star card um, in how he feels about himself so he's healing right now so it's a period of you know this is also allowing others to help you heal um, you know mending broken bonds um, and friendships so in the in the present position the masculine desires to heal to fix some broken things I'm gonna pull one card the king of cups I didn't shuffle that in front of you but uh, the King of Cups is somebody who expresses their emotions. They're, they're balanced mentally and emotionally. They feel love very deeply. Communicating love to heal wounds. So what is at the foundation? This is a broken heart. The masculine has been hurt. And that's why he's afraid to trust. Why? Eight of Swords, thoughts are keeping him trapped. Um, I feel he's coming out of that darkened state, you know, because he's in a healing uh, energy. So feeling locked out of the connection or choosing to be locked out because this is creating your own mental prison. Um, so he's healing from those, you know, he's healing. I'm not an awful picture. <laughs> and all those swords stabbing your heart. And you feel things very deeply, but it's good that you're healing. Okay, so what's in the past position? The Eight of Pentacles, so this is throwing yourself into work. It's focusing on um, manifesting your long-term goal but what I really feel is, you know, a way not to focus on this pain is to keep yourself busy. Page of Wands. So this is excitement. It's a new adventure. Um, having, you know, being excited and having a really positive outlook about the way your future is going. So the masculine has been really working on himself. He's been working hard and saving money um, so that he can begin this new adventure. So he may have received some kind of good news and that ultimately is helping him heal or desiring to heal um, some broken bonds. What does he want? Star card, again. Repeated theme, the masculine got this in the Twin Flame reading. So he desires to be hopeful and to heal and to come out of that darkened state. Reborn. Find balance as well. Wow, Queen of Cups. So we got the King and Queen of Cups, water energy. Um... He desires to heal the connection with the feminine on an emotional level. Um, somebody who's very sensitive, intuitive. Um, so there's an impression of him feeling like he knows everything's going to be okay on a deep level. What is he going to get? if things carry on this path is the nine of wands um, again another repeated feeling of exhaustion um, this is being caught in the machine but here we see this person is very very strong and they've lined up all these wands 
to keep somebody out. So he's guarding his palace. Um, what I feel with this, you know, usually means the wounded warrior feeling beaten down time and time again. But what he's getting, what he wants is peace, harmony, healing, connection with a feminine energy possibly who will help him to heal. What he will get is this defensive, stand backish kind of energy. So I'm just going to pull on my card. There's that Seven of Cups again. So not knowing which road to take. The repeated message is to trust. Doesn't matter which path you choose, just move forward and trust that everything's, everything's going to be okay. So it's like what he gets is, a, you know, he's being made to make a decision whether he's ready or not. That's what I'm kind of feeling with that. But there's a lot of spiritual strength being represented here. So how does he feel internally? Wow, the Eight of Cups showing up again. The feminine got this in what she wanted. So internally the masculine is emotionally withdrawing. Um, he desires to move away from something that is tugging on his heartstrings because remember he is healing emotionally. That's a King of Cups there. But usually the King of Cups represents that he is healed. So internally he feels like maybe this is the feminine. Remember she got this card twice. But she got this exact gilded um, Rider Wake card. It's really crazy that this showed up twice. To have this card show up twice in all the decks that I've used is really crazy. Synchronicity. Um, okay, so it's Dana Wands. You know, this is, again, being caught in the machine, but this is the end to that Nine of Wands. Um, internally, he feels like he's in the fire, um, exhausted, and he, he wants to walk away from something. Okay, so what's in his external environment? Again, the Eight of Pentacles. So it's on either side. So... He's, he, maybe he's working right now, um, but he's made a commitment to a long-term goal. He's really, really tired, but this is calling to him. He needs to have it done. He needs to get it done. Um, and he will find the strength to continue forward and finish whatever this is that he's working on. Six of Swords. So this is walking away from a negative... Um, situation. This is more negative thoughts, but it's finally making the decision to walk away from it. So again, this energy of separation. Maybe he's breaking up with uh, his karmic partner. Right? Three of Swords. Um, but there's definitely some mental and emotional conflict happening here. And it is exhausting him. What is he resisting doing? Eight of Wands. You're resisting communicating. You're resisting sending positive vibrations out into the universe. You're resisting riding that wave of excitement about something. So I just want to know, is this about communication? There's that King of Pentacles again. Um, so what I was getting with this was... Okay, the, the feminine and masculine both got get the the king of pentacles. The feminine got it about, you know, in terms of how she felt about herself. And the, the masculine, I think, got it as the final outcome. So here it is in your resisting position. So you're resisting moving forward with that new adventure, starting a new life, feeling excited, um, feeling ready. Pursuing something that will bring you... Um, financial success, I guess. You know, we got a spiritual card here with a 3D Earth card. So, it's almost like pursuing a job that will, you know, bring so much success and spiritual fulfillment in his life. I don't know. Okay, so, what is the summary outcome? 
two of pentacles. So he's being pulled in two different directions. You can see these eight of pentacles on either side. It's kind of crazy. There's an, it feels like there's a new opportunity that happened in the past that had to do with possibly a job. What's surrounding him is this same job opportunity, but there's a sense that it's, it's leaving him. This could be the feminine. Um, but he feels locked out, but he's really not. He's actually resisting moving forward. Again, similar th theme is because he doesn't trust. He's been hurt before. Um, so the Two of Pentacles is finding balance, stretching yourself too thin as well. But I really almost feel like there's a financial opportunity here. Wow, Two of Pentacles again. So in my card, you see a tree that's bending with the wind, being resilient, not fighting or resisting. So there's a change taking place. There's the Ace of Pentacles, that, that seed of intention is planted, the opportunity is there, and he's really struggling with the decision to move forward. What's the final outcome? Oop, we forgot about the near future. Wow, are you kidding me? The Nine of Pentacles, exact same card, but the feminine got that in the near position, near future position. What are the odds? What are the odds? That's so crazy. Um, okay, so the Nine of Pentacles as the final outcome is freedom, independence, feeling like you've accomplished so much. And we got these two eights here, which ends as a nine, as abundance, as harvest. You're struggling with that decision. And this reading is saying that it's going to work out great for you. One more card. I'm so curious. High Priest. Divine Guidance. Trust. Trust. So the crossroads in your future. The Hangman. Surrendering. Letting go of control. Seeing things from a different perspective. Seeing things in a more positive light. But not controlling things right there's a lot of fear of losing an opportunity wanting to move on to something more positive but the inability to do so so the message here is to surrender don't make that decision um, you need to re you need to find your balance once again stay positive and hopeful that your dreams will be manifested because it looks like they will trust but you need to be able to believe in that trust and that ultimately comes with surrender it could also be a self-sacrifice as well in order to get your freedom you need to sacrifice something something that you've held onto that you felt connected to that you you know you felt you had a lot of worth associated with this thing. So self-sacrifice, one more card. Nine of Cups. So this is dreams coming true. Um, laughing, having fun, going out to restaurants. Nine is completion. So if you're able to surrender There will, you know, surrender to emotional fulfillment, or surrender to expressing your emotions, feeling love. That's what you want. So, I think this is just you seeing things from a different perspective, seeing life in a more positive way. Instead of feeling so exhausted and tired, the near future, <clears throat> instead of feeling like the Eight of Cups, you feel like the Nine of Cups dreams granted like everything you've worked for has turned out great you made the right decisions um, yeah just emotional fulfillment your friends are surrounding you repeated message guys trust divine guidance brings you what you ultimately wanted Sea beasties. 
I think this is hanging on to negative thoughts. So here in the murky depths we dwell, trapped in darkness like a jail. Wow. Here in the depths we dwell, trapped in a jail. Obscured by she who holds the key, yet chooses not to lift the veil. Our clandestine existence can, our shadows no longer condone. Buried deep, we wait, we sleep, unknowable or just unknown. A strange maiden in a tentacled headdress fixes her sightless gaze straight ahead, unaware of the bizarre creatures surrounding her at the bottom of the deepest sea. So the, the message is, beware of deeply buried thoughts um, and desires buried deep below the surface. Sorry, lately you've felt some unfamiliar stirrings from thoughts and desires buried deep below the surface. These elements of self may be things you've forgotten and they may be things you have intentionally ignored or unconsciously repressed. However, they are still there. It is time to acknowledge their existence. These ideas and emotions, perhaps even fears, may be difficult to retrieve or recall. But don't worry, nothing is impossible. The more you concentrate on becoming self-aware, the better you will become at understanding these hidden pieces of your personality. So the message is for you guys to become aware of these hidden thoughts. Um, because it's, they're staring you right in the face here. Your heart's been broken. That needs to be healed. Again, you feel, you know, this... Intense emotion and exhaustion. Um, so ex really look into that, you know. Look within. Think, you know, whatever comes to mind immediately. Follow that thought. And connect with it. And release it. Heal yourself. Because something needs to be... You know, something wants to be known or shown. All right, so I hope this made sense to you guys. I don't know why I struggled so hard this week with the reading. Um, but, yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you in 11 days. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. All right, cheers.